The 9th of August 2016. The date that No Man's Sky got released and the date that many gamers got very disappointed. Exactly what Sean Murray was afraid of. I worry about, like, disappointing people. You know. It was even one of the worst rated games on Steam, as many things that were promised were not included in the game. However, we have now traveled 7 years into the future, graphic wise it looks fantastic to what it once was, and since launch it came with tons of new major updates. But above all that, for a while you can now fully immerse yourself in VR. And with the PSVR 2 coming, I was curious to see how the game runs in VR, so in this video we are diving back back into No Man's Sky VR. A virtual reality. And then the idea that you're going to put on, you know, a headset, it's nuts, it's the, the perfect kind of um, sci-fi dream, right? And I completely agree with Jean here, so let me start by saying that if you have a VR headset and you have No Man's Sky, you should at least give it a try. It makes the game so much more fun once you can not only play the game on a 2D screen, but actually live it in VR. Now let's start with the mechanics. You can perfectly play this game standing or seated, and as you might travel a lot in your spaceship, I prefer to play this one seated, which works fine. Walking on planets and being in your spaceship Hearing the noises of space and the feeling of loneliness is an absolute fantastic feeling. Now the game offers comfort options that other dedicated VR games sometimes don't even have. You have for example, well the standard smooth turn and snap turn. You have smooth movement but also teleport which works pretty well. And you might have noticed the floating hands, well there is even an option to see your full body in VR. As for accessing your inventory and all that, you have a watch on your hand that you can use and by a single click you can open that. You can easily drag things around, also the building menu, everything works very well. The UI is great in my opinion and if you just don't know for a second which button to, to press, there's always a text telling you which button on the controller you are using you have to press. Now grabbing the gun is very easy as well by just pulling it from your right shoulder and you can shoot away. Uh, the same goes for the visor and the scanner, you can do that by activating it on the left shoulder. Now you might not have a beast of a computer, but they have added tons of features to make it work in VR. You might give up on quality image a little bit, but you will be able to play it perfectly. Especially the DLSS feature and the Fidelity FX Super Resolution do very well to the performance. I could play on high settings for about 90% of the times, just hitting that maximum frame rate. And here is a clip with the Fidelity FX Super Resolution off and you can see that the FPS is a little bit all over the place. And here I turned it on and you can see that it's just on 72 FPS most of the time hitting that maximum frame rate. This game with all its updates gets better and better and I wonder with the PS VR 2 coming up if they will further optimize the game for VR. Coming back to the question if you should play this game in VR, an absolute 100% yes. I don't see a reason why I would play this game on a 2D screen anymore. Try it out, see if your computer can make it and if so, I wish you a very good flight in space. Now if you want to really experience a cool space game in VR, check out my latest review for Red Matter 2, it is jaw breaking. I hope to see you all in the next video, ciao ciao.